Did I tell you guys a story about the, the episode of Fast and Furious I got to see on Friday night? Saturday, Saturday night. Episode? Episode. No. Segment. Whatever. Okay, so I ended up getting the full story, so we'll start with that. Apparently, somebody cut uh, like a blimp oh, yeah. off of one of the booths down the way, so it flies up, and it's illuminated. So you basically- Oh, the see, LED blimp. Is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody who's like drunk partying basically sees this LED blimp just go floating away, and everybody's like, whoa, look at that. <laughs> At this point, I didn't know that. Uh, Chase and I are walking down like the main drag, and it's uh, dealers on one side and then camping on the other. So we're just walking, chatting, whatever, and we kind of hear like a little commotion. Guy comes sprinting across the row. Shortly followed by him is a golf cart, also bombing, because so there's security everywhere, everywhere. And they're on four-wheelers, golf carts, razors, whatever. So security on a golf cart comes bombing over the hill and is chasing after him. We're like, whoa, what the fuck? Then about two and a half seconds later, this guy comes by on a four-wheeler, light bars on, Full full tilt over the hill, kind of loses a little bit of traction, like two wheels it and careens and just rams through like five folding tables what? into an enclosed trailer. What? Like what? 25 feet in front of Wait, us. Wait, he was a security the, guard? The he security was a security was... guard. What? Put it this way, you put a guy in a vest and he's fucking yeah, pretty the happy. Guys yeah, that were working at Heydays were acting like they were like FBI agents. Yeah, like, Jesus. Dude. <laughs> You so guy a, I didn't a, hear a about vest, that. Like saying, yeah. Dude did too much. Yeah, dude did too much. And the funny thing was, the guy Who's was running. Was it? it was a drunk guy running. Like he was on a four wheeler. It can't be that hard to catch him. So anyway, crashes into this thing. Gave the four wheeler to the wrong guy. Gets <laughs> up, runs over, and tackles this dude. We didn't oh, know we. Yeah, we didn't know we had. He had <clears throat> cut the blimp. We, oh, you know, he had cut. Okay. He had cut That's the blimp good, allegedly, least. but we didn't know this at the point. Tackled him like he had actually just murdered an entire family. <laughs> like, took him down, fucking slammed him in the ground. Was he a cop or a security guard? A security guard. Just, no, just, just wait. Okay. So Chase and I run over there. This is all under, like, a light plant. We're watching. I'm, like, trying to rip out my phone. Yeah. Security's coming up to us, kind of try, telling us to get away. This guy's just beating this kid up on the ground. I'm like, holy crap, this is intense. What'd he do? Uh, more security comes. Fucking whatever. So then, super drunk guy that crashed the four wheeler, and he was a security guard. Security guard. Oh, he are was you sure drunk. He was drunk. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and this is why they are really letting anybody be security there. Yeah. This is what I think. So then they come and we're close enough that we can hear this, and they're like, "You got to get out of here. You got to get out of here." They're telling the security guard this. Oh um, my god! Security guard walks over, grabs these folding tables like it was the folding table's fault for being in the way of his four wheeler. Chucks them out of the way. They, who's were they? Just some random ass people? A vendor that Dude. just happened to be there. Gets on his four wheeler, fucking cranks it up, throws it in reverse, you know, goes like that, jams it in the drive, rips off and tears off into the hits distance. another folding table and trailer. hits another person. Just tears off. And then the real police came, and then the kid was sitting there. He's like, I didn't do anything. I was just walking to my friend's house. And then. We're like, all right, seems like it's over. Yeah, how do you Jesus. prove that? I remember a handful of people asking us about the blimp thing, and I'm like, that's kind of funny. I mean, I'm, it sucks for whoever lost their branded blimp, but they were like, we got to track this kid down. He needs to be sitting in jail tonight. Yeah, they I were mean, like really actually, pissed. But yeah, they were really upset. I saw a really funny picture, maybe like, <laughs> I, I won't be able to find, but it, they like photoshopped the the. Uh, it was actually the BMP bumpers one. Mm -hmm. they, they photoshopped it in orbit. Dude, <laughs> yo, BMP should thank whoever yeah. cut that blimp because it's the best, the best publicity they physically could have gotten. I yeah, agree. dude, everybody was talking about everyone it. Everyone was talking about it, dude. And uh, yeah, I, honestly, though, that is a safety hazard for that thing going up. And it's like massive. Like it's probably big. like a six foot ball. Yeah. And like imagine like the uh the FF the not the FFA, <laughs> the FAA. Yeah, the it's FFA tough. It's tough. is sitting there and they all of a sudden get beep. <laughs> beep. It's, it's like moving there like what what do we got here? What do we got? And they're like, zoom in on it, zoom in on it, thinking that it's like a like a nuclear threat or something like that. And they're like, Does that say BMP bumper? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, security was uh it was getting out of hand. Heydays just tends to get out of hand. Definitely. I mean, I, I went too overboard on Sunday night, Saturday night. Mike got off the leash and he was barking. <laughs> it's exactly what. <laughs> he was barking. Everyone the next day was like, I mean, you, you were hilarious, but I don't even know how you got to that point. I don't know. 
overdid it. Sunday hurt, but it was a beautiful weekend.